Coach Tuggle, thank you for sitting down and talking with me. Uh, it's an exciting time of year. You uh, got your squad back on the court here in Hanson Nays, getting ready for the 2017-2018 season. You're just uh, 10 days into practice. Uh, what's the excitement level like being back on the court, getting ready for a new season? Uh, well, I think it's very high. Uh, we've uh, we have a, a lot of new players. We have a lot of new play, new basketball players, and we've got. Uh, we start off with about 32 young ladies. We had, uh, I think, 15 returners and 17 young ladies that uh, some were recruited, some weren't. Um, and so it's been exciting, it's been crowded. Uh, so, but uh, I think we're looking forward to a, a good season. Well, with so many players, I know it's got to be tough on you and your staff to get reps. For a lot of players, I know you started a pride team this year uh, to sort of help the younger people get more familiar with the style of offense, style of play, and all that to prepare them for the next level. But they can contribute right away. Uh, talk a little bit about that and that how you know things balance out for you. Well, you know, some teams, uh, some schools will have a JV team. I don't, uh, I don't consider it a JV team. Um, we are supposed to have 18 on our roster. All right. So even if uh, we have a good team, maybe 11, 12 of the 18 are getting some playing time. The other ones aren't getting much playing time. They're just practicing. And even in practice, they might not get a lot of reps because you want to make sure that the group that's you know performing is going to get a lot of reps in during the week. So we decided to try to have uh, a pride team because with number 18, 17, 16, 15, um, they're not getting any game experience. They're missing out on a whole year of game experience. I have a young lady that's this was this will be her junior year, and she's been on the team each year, but probably total minutes played have been you know less than 50 minutes for two years, and. Um, so we figured that uh, if we can get you in and um, get you going and get you some game experience, the uh, things that are not quite ready for you to be helping us will get worked on. And um, uh, the good thing is we have uh, 10 on the Pride team this year. Um, and I've been to a couple of their practices and they're busting their butt, working hard. Sometimes I feel working a little harder than the group that's on the travel team, which our goal is to uh, keep pressure on the young ladies to perform every day at practice. If I feel like somebody's not working hard enough or somebody is working a lot harder than the other one, the numbers change. Uh, you know, you might be on the pride team, but you know, a week from now, now that you've got a concept of what's going on, maybe you're going to move up to the travel team and somebody from the travel team is going to move down to the pride team. Uh, so we're excited about it because we're going to be able to give a lot of young ladies the opportunity to be able to get some game experience and then hopefully get to the point where they're going to be consistently helping us out on the travel team. Well, having those uh, that many people, you got to really rely on your assistant coaches. You have Reggie Hines, Shania Hanker returning this year. But also, you have a newcomer in Johnny Richardson. What is it like having those three people by your side day in and day out? Well, the uh, beauty of Division Three is if you get some assistance, you're lucky to get good assistance. And I feel very blessed that uh, I've got Reggie and Shanita and uh, Johnny helping me out this year. I have uh, a young. Uh, former player that played for me last year that was trying to help us out with her work schedule. She's kind of on a part-time basis. Uh, Reggie is uh, very energetic, very enthusiastic about uh, helping us. Uh, he looks at it as a full-time job as far as, you know, getting in here and working and everything like that. Shanita, uh, this is her second year, a tremendous player for us a couple years ago when we went to the NCAA tournament. Um, and she's here to give some support and be able to maybe talk to young ladies of, about where they are and what they can do and how they can work on things. Johnny is new, uh, had a lot of good recommendations for Johnny. Uh, I've been very 
very happy to have him here because he's enthusiastic. It's been a, a dream of his to have an opportunity to coach at the collegiate level. And um, uh, like I said, I think I've got a, a really good staff, and uh, but we'll see when the season starts. Well, you mentioned the season starting. It starts just a few days from now uh, on Sunday when you travel to UNC Wilmington for an exhibition matchup before yet another Division One exhibition matchup on November 12th. And we're talking with you before we release the schedule. You said we're going to find out what we're made of really fast and what we need to work on before we get into the regular season. What kind of benefits does it have playing two NCAA Division One team exhibitions? Uh, they give us some money to come play them. That's the benefit. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the other thing is it's, it's an opportunity for our players to see if uh, they can compete. Uh, the bad thing for me right now is that because of the newness of a, of a number of our players and everything, uh, when we go over there and play UNCW, uh, it'll be right at about two weeks that we've had practice. Okay, so that's not good. Um, but uh, it will let us know what we need to work on. Uh, you know, Division ones have started practice way before us. Uh, they also have a preseason that you know you can get three or four of their players in in the gym at one time and work on stuff. So uh, I'm not worried about it. Uh, it's a, it's an opportunity for us to f see who can step up and who can't. And, um, so we're excited about it um, and uh, excited about uh, uh, not too far away from getting ready to start the season too. Well, you, you mentioned getting some uh, people in the game, uh, in that atmosphere. You really have to rely on your senior leadership this year. Kylie Berry, Rashika Gregory, Shamara Richardson, and Cameron Williams. How important is it going to be for these four seniors to step up and sort of take the lead on this year's squad? Well, we also have Dominique McCoy uh, as a senior too. Uh, I, you know, it, that's one of the hardest things since I've been here. Uh, is finding leadership. Uh, a lot of times when you talk about somebody becoming a leader, they think it's all about talking and fussing and everything like that. That's what coaches are for. We're the ones that talk and fuss. Uh, but this group uh, is doing a lot better uh, than we've had in the past in that they are stepping up and trying to become leaders by actions instead of by words. And um, that's what it starts with, you know. I'm, how can I respect you to tell me I need to go hard when you're jogging up and down the floor or when you're not uh, putting any extra time and you're telling me I need to get in the gym and shoot some. Well, I haven't seen you in the gym. So that's the change in the culture that we're trying to make that we don't need talkers, we need doers. And um, so this group has, has done pretty good at it so far. Well, following the two exhibition games, your first four games of the regular season are on the road before you finally make your home appearance here in Haines Gymnasium on December 6th when you open USA South Athletic Conference play against Methodist University. What's it going to be like when you can finally step foot here in Haines Gymnasium in front of the home crowd? Well, we love playing at home uh, with our little small gym and uh, the support of the student athletes and the students and the faculty. and. The administration, it it, uh, it gets kind of loud in here, uh, so we're we would be excited about it, but we're not going to worry about that yet. Uh, we got a, a exhibition that's coming Sunday, and once we finish that, we'll focus on the next one. So, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, the, the improvement and energy that the, the team has been giving me so far will continue and maybe even pick up a little bit more. Well, Coach Togo, best of luck as you start your season, and I look forward to talking again next week. Well, thank you very much, and go Pride.